Hello. Congress now in session. Okay. Got some business here. Congress business. Abraham Lincoln here. Wanted to address Congress. Don't bother getting up. Okay. I came across something. Uh, okay. I came across this bill. Someone recording this information or check it out. Uh, well, I found out this information when I was researching Arlington Cemetery. They got a giant computer chip there, it looks like. And we know that uh, all the planning, uh, zoning and planning is... Uh, Basically, we live on side of on on top of a giant uh, <clears throat> circuit board. All right, all the streets, all the railroads, everything is part of the circuit board. When the railroad, when the trains go along, whatever they carry along, they carry frequency along the other parts of the circuit board. When you die, you don't really die because there's no death. So you, I don't know, it's possible you, you keep waking up. So you act like a battery. Your coffin's like a battery. Sarcophagus is like a battery. And that's all the soldiers buried there, Arlington Cemetery, when they keep waking up and suffocating and dying again or whatever, they're acting as batteries to power this computer chip. Uh, it's possible. Okay. Here's a bill. Okay, we know that gravestones, grave markers were originally called steels. S-T-E-L-E. -E. Okay, now. Steel is translates to disam, disambiguation. Disam, disambiguation. Okay. So what do they got here? <clears throat> Satellite bill of 2010. And what is it called? Stella. Stella bill. S-T-E-L-A. Stella Reauthorization Act of 2014. H-R-4572. 113th Congress. Published. 111 through 175, 111th Congress. Renew the Satellite Home Viewer Extension and Reauthorization Act of 2004 and the Satellite Home Viewer Act of 1999. And what is this called? Shiva. So the original bill is called Stella, which Sounds awful like a steal. And we know they steal our souls and use us like batteries or whatever. Okay. So now this one's called Shiva. S-H-V-I-A. Governs the transmission of broadcast television content by satellite companies. Five-year term of retransmission to customers. Bill was sponsored by J. Rockefeller a Democrat from West Virginia, co-sponsored by John Kerry, cleared Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transit, or whatever that says, reintroduced as S... Now, these are all occult numbers, okay? These numbers. The number is 
S3333. Pat Leahy of Vermont, May 7, 2010. Past same day in the Senate, May 12, 2010. Okay, that's another occult date, May 12, 2010. May 12, occult date. <clears throat> Greg Walden, Stella Reauthorization, Reauthorization Act of 2014, H.R. 4572, 113th Congress. Uh, then it says, steals have been used to publish laws and decrees, to record a ruler's exploits and honors, to make sacred territories or mortgaged properties territorial markers. As the boundary steals of Akhenan at Armarna or to commemorate military victories. Well, isn't that interesting? Commem com uh, commemorate military victories. And this uh, information relates to Arlington Cemetery. Okay. That's something awfully fishy. Uh, so you see that the Democrats have uh, wrangled this bill for all these years, you know. They've been wrangling this bill through, and the Democrats been in power. And we know they steal our souls. And... Jay Rockefeller and John Kerry uh, are both Democrats, I believe. Cleared the Senate in one day. <clears throat> so it relates to at and T. I don't know if you noticed the picture of the AT&T soul pumping station that I took the other day. Uh, you know, this thing's humming away like there must be huge transformers inside that building or whatever it is. I mean, the thing is so loud. I mean, so what do they need all that? You know, do you need all that power for cable television or whatever? I mean, uh, this... This whole system uh, probably uh, uh, correlates with the towers. The towers might have something to do with this soul stealing operation, conspiracy, whatever. That all the people believe are cell phone towers, but are not really. And they emit uh, harmful frequencies and they have thousands of watts of power uh, lines going up there and huge transformers that are not necessarily at the location of the tower, but are uh, situated a ways away so people wouldn't put this together. Hello. Come on back to Jamaica. AT&T, the shit relates to satellites. So the towers could be involved. Satellites can be inv could be involved. The cable networks could be involved. Cable television. Uh, you know, I told you, television, all you got to do, you want to know your reality, just reverse engineer grandma's television down in the basement. You know, now they probably reconfigured everything, so it's harder to figure it out, you know. And that's why they got rid of bubble screens. They made flat screens because they didn't want anybody to figure this out. You know, even the gang stalker people told me that. So I already knew that. You know, <clears throat> of course they don't explain anything. They just spit out arrogant comments. But you got to figure it out for yourself. You know. AT&T is involved. The people putting up the towers are involved. Whatever companies making these, putting up these towers, they're involved in this conspiracy. Uh, 
<clears throat> satellites are involved, who's are producing satellites, if there is actually satellites, because some people believe there is no such, there are no such things as satellites. It's just a huge lie. So we know there's a glass ceiling, and I don't believe there's a telescope on Earth that can see through it. That's just another huge scam to steal money from people and get grants that they just whatever and use the money for their own purposes. You can't. I, 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 I dare. I, I want somebody to take me to a, a fucking telescope and that some bozo claims that he can see in the outer space with this telescope. I don't believe you could see through the glass ceiling. There's a thousand years of bacteria on there. That's why the planets are hard to see because they're outside the ceiling and uh, it's covered with bacteria. Plus, they move the sun to hide the planets, so make it hard to see too. You know. Steels were created by the Kafing Jews. Chinese people that were Jews, Jews that look like Chinese people. I told you they create hybrid races and they sprinkle them in with other people and make them look like those people and then they interbreed and become mongoloids, okay? That's probably where they got the term Mongolians from. I mean, you know. I had some other things I wanted to talk about. Uh... Well, one thing I thought was interesting is that, uh, you know, we find all kinds of uh, remains in caves and people always wonder, well, why do they bury people in caves all the time? Well, they didn't want their souls to be stolen. So uh, that's where the Shambhala place came from, the underworld or whatever. Uh, and that's how stalactites are formed, I believe. Uh, you go into a cave and you find stalactites. Uh, those may actually be uh, where they bury human remains. And uh, the, the energy is created by these remains that's left uh, there uh, is pulled upward towards the grid, you know, that the enemies made, you know. And what happens is the proteins in the cal uh, calcium in the ceiling, uh, they, it's a law of attraction. So like attracts like, so energy here and there's energy here. So it, it comes together. Do you understand? I mean, you got this giant computer chip at, um, at Arlington cemetery, uh, that, uh, if you look at the cemetery, it's a bird. It's the eye of a bird there. The eye where my uh, unknown soldier grave is. Uh, I mean, my my one of my corpses could be in there. Uh, we know that I was Abraham Lincoln. We know that I was John F. Kennedy. So you got and you know and we know that I was Thomas Jefferson. So all those remains are or memorials are around that area there. So, you know, that could be maybe how they created my prison. You understand? They took my remains and made this pyramid of energy grid prison. And that's how they keep me locked in here in La La Land, wherever the fuck I am. You understand? I mean, it's just uh, just speculation. Uh, you got this giant computer chip there uh, that uh, is probably powered by the, all the soldiers in there uh and uh surrounded by york drive marshall drive bradley drive and Patton drive you know it's probably how they came up with the york peppermint patty too you know uh chip off the old block you know because the original when we settled here, that's where we settled. Uh, Kingstown, the ancient village of Big Point Ancient Village, where there was Kingstown and that rock I showed you with all the um, shit etched, etched into the rock. 
that's the Plymouth Rock. That's probably where they made up that story about the Puritans laying that Plymouth Plymouth Rock. That was probably us, the Gentiles. We probably landed there and then just made up some huge bunch of bullshit, you know. Uh, that village. Oh, so the village there was is was claimed to be a magnetic matrix. You understand? So we already knew all this information because uh, we had our own grid that was utilized the pyramids and the temples. And that's probably how the slave masters now, whoever you want to say, you know, the powers that be, uh, they probably learned this information from us and then killed all of us and then just took all the information for themselves and then created their own grid using the towers and gold tone gold dome buildings and uh, uh high rise buildings you know uh and we know that third uh, it's possible the 13th floor when you go up into high rise buildings uh the 13th floor is is at the level where the um dimensional doorways are that's why People can go up into high rise buildings and go into other dimensions from high rise buildings, you know, probably in Trump Tower, too, you know. So, uh, you know, that's a safe harbor petroglyphs. The King Stones, Ulster County, New York. Now, Ulster County, that was uh, we, in Ulster, Ireland. That's where we came from. I told you. We're the lords of Tyr Canal. I was I, I was the king of Canal. Understand? We're the lords of Tyr Canal. Ulaid, Ulster, Canal, uh, ancient Ireland. That's where we came from. I told you we got chased out of we got chased out of England. Went to went to uh, France. Got chased out of France. Went to Spain. Got chased out of Spain. Went to Ireland. Got chased out of Ireland. Went to Scotland. Got chased out of Scotland. Went here. Went there. You know. They, anywhere, then they're doing the same thing now. What are they doing? Well, you, they found Gentiles in Iraq. So what do they do? Go kill all the people there and destroy the place. Well, they found Gentiles in uh, Afghanistan. What do they do? Kill all the people and destroy the place. Well, they found Gentiles in Libya. What do they do? Kill all the people and destroy the place. That's what they're doing. They're doing the same thing to uh, uh, the, us now as they did then. I mean, all the military people baffled. Jeez, why are we going to attack all these places for no reason? It's not for no reason because there's Gentiles there and they want to kill us. Hello. If you're a military and you're a Gentile and you're running around the world killing Gentiles, you're fucking wiping out the human race, basically killing yourself. I already told you that a hundred times. <clears throat> Jacobsburg Stone. Nearest village, Belfast, Pennsylvania, Belfast, Ireland. That's all our, that's okay, that's all us. We settled there. And the Clintons' grave is there too. So Clintons were probably, Clintons are probably Gentiles. Probably one of our original people, you know. That's why Hillary Clinton looks just like my mother. So I'm obviously related to the Clintons, I would imagine, somehow. Montville Chamber, Ogham, Leffingwell Road, Montville, Connecticut. And then in Montville, Connecticut, you got the underground uh, caves that probably go all the way to New York. You know, probably were part of the magnetic matrix and all that. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Well, there's some uh, few things for you to chew on. Okay, Congress, you're dismissed. All right, see you guys later. <laughs>